Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on July 11th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet and welcome to the Daily Do. Thanks for tuning in tonight, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, do have some pretty sizable sunspot regions that are earth facing right now and as well a couple plasma filaments to talk about and as well some more solar flares so bright regions incoming large plasma ropes still stretched across the southern hemisphere right now and some cresting activity is on our doorstep left hand side there that fiery region threw off two c class and one m class solar flare today plasma filament eruption taking off from the southeast region there watch for this large one here on the right hand side that just occurred today and as well we do have another flare that took off large cme detected there taking off towards mercury closer look at the southeast region where this large plasma filament took off and as well that bright flash, most likely a large solar flare taking off towards Mercury. Looking at multi-spectrum, it looks like a very hectic sun right now, and that's because it is. Two very large sunspots right now, northern and southern hemisphere, on either side of the equatorial region, and as well, lots of plasma filament ropes connected to it all. So heads up. Aware and prepared is what this is all about. No fear here. Having a look at 193 angstroms, we still have the Earth-facing coronal hole, which is now turning away. But watching those plasma ropes there over the next 24 to 48 hours, let's hope that they stay connected to our star. Wanted to also show you a closer look at the sunspot regions. So when we have that blue and the red connected together and closely, those are large and active sunspot regions. You can see the energy coming out of those things. The size of Earth. Solar X-ray flux remains in C range today, up from B range yesterday. Small M-class solar flare, and look at all of the activity. C-class, 2M-class, geomagnetic activity remains slightly elevated. KP3, ISWA, space prediction spiral, showing that large CME taking off towards Mercury and Venus. That was a pretty large shot. Luckily, that was not in an Earth-facing position. Looking at Lasco 3, at all of these sun events. Here is Mercury coming into view right now. And you can see that solar blast took off right towards it. Amazing stuff. How little we are. Look, real time solar wind. We're sitting at 357 kilometers per second right now. We had a Healthy spike over the last few hours jumped up to about 460 kilometers per second, but it did not last long. But look at the density as it has picked up again. Looking at the DRAP absorption map, showing the affected regions, highest frequency in affected regions. Elongated C-class and M-class solar flares is going to produce an aurora. Most likely, though, through Europe and into Greenland. Schumann resonance for today is a power of nine. Very low power, but healthy. Power of nine, quality of 9.4. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours as it's just starting to pick up here. We did have a couple new earthquakes here to report a 6.1 earthquake and as well a 5.7 in Vanuatu. Port Vila, Vanuatu, 10 kilometer depth, 6.1, followed by a 5.7, and 
and I'm sure there are going to be more to come. This is the largest earthquake we've seen in the past seven days. It's been pretty quiet, but we had some very deep earthquakes the last couple days. We were expecting something large. 5.6 here reported yesterday, Marianas Islands. So that was the largest earthquake before this 6.1. 4.7 here reported Papua New Guinea, 69 kilometer depth. As well, Indonesia seeing some activity as well. In King Kong, 4.6 doubled up there. And then we get to the Fiji region and Kermadec Islands, 5.0. Fiji Islands, 4.4, 519 kilometer depth. And as well, a 4.5, 527 kilometer depth. And that was yesterday. So we were expecting something large today and we just got it, literally. As well, 4.6 there, Indian Plate in India. Pretty rare earthquake here, 4.6. The African Plate into Somalia. Kerigabo, Somalia, 10 kilometer depth as well, 4.5, 4.1 reported in Iran. And that's that same region that took off last week for earthquakes. As well, a 4.2 here, Armenia, and a 4.7. 4.0 here reported in Zagorai, Zagorai, Greece. Pretty quiet in the South, South American plate. Largest being the 4.5 here, San Antonio de los Cobros. 222 kilometer depth. Constant activity here. Puerto Rico into Dominican Republic. Then we get to the North American plate. Where the largest earthquakes reported today were 3.5s in Eureka, Nevada. Doubled up there. And as well, a 3.8 here reported off the coast of Oregon. 10 kilometer depth. But otherwise, pretty quiet across uh, Canada and the U.S. right now. Overlooking Hawaii, largest through the region today was a 3.4, but they're seeing increased seismicity there. And Alaska continues to rumble. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Let's give a quick look and rundown at the last seven days. And that's not including the 6.1 and the 5.7 that just occurred in Papua New Guinea. As I was making this video when it happened, so heads up everybody, we could seek a large earthquake swarm with this activity. Want to give a quick shout out to every, everybody right now. Much love and thank you so much for watching, inviting me into your living rooms and as well sharing with your friends and family. Very quiet American plate. Heads up. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery around the world and as well noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated large atmospheric river stretching from the gulf coast right up into the united kingdom right now high pressure ridge across north america is drying things out we do have one tropical system to talk about hurricane darby has ramped up into now a category four hurricane And Hurricane Celia has now faded out. But you can see here, this is satellite imagery of Hurricane Darby turning into a Category 4 hurricane. Carrying on across the world here, lots of moisture still falling. Cloud cover across Southeast Asia, India, and as well China. And even some intense weather heading through Yemen, parts of Iran and Iraq. Extreme heat and thunderstorm conditions will begin to start through Turkey. Quick rundown on the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Nevada's Daru is in Colombia, Sabancaya in Peru, Reventador in Ecuador, Sangay in Ecuador, Ebico in Russia, Pretty quiet day. Fuego, Guatemala. And that's about it. So about six volcanoes getting updated today. And that is our world for satellite imagery. Let's give a quick update on weather. As we do have some volatile conditions that are 
brewing up across northwestern Ontario and central Ontario and is going to quickly move up into the Atlantic provinces. Other than that, it's going to be pretty dry across eastern parts. Big low there off the coast of BC. Later on in the week, we'll bring some stormy conditions through Alberta and then Saskatchewan. And then watch for a couple lows to develop, but it's going to be a pretty dry week considering we do have a tropical here, tropical depression here forming by Saturday for the Gulf. Overlooking South America, stormy conditions there. Argentina, Buenos Aires into Brazil. And as well, Chile seeing some stormy and snowy conditions Overlooking Europe, low pressure system there, grinding through parts of Western Russia. And then we get to Southeast Asia, where this rain just does not want to stop. Forecast rains here for the next few days. Heads up, stay safe, everybody. Overlooking Australia, no major weather systems coming to you until later. We do have in the long range system heading to you, Western parts of Australia. And then in the long range, could see another system here developing, tropical storm heading up into the Gulf of California. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's update. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.